Hi, I'm Kimber, owner of Water Bear Photography. I specialize in underwater portraiture and love helping other photographers do the same. Photographers, if you would like to connect with us, please join our Facebook group called Underwater Portraiture with Kimber. We will put the link in the description below this video. And today we are going to discuss what to do with your model's hands. Today I have Julie with me. Many of you already know her because she is my safety swimmer and underwater model. What some of you may not know about her is that she is a phenomenal competitive swimmer and that she's been internationally published for her underwater modeling work. So Julie is kind of the authority on underwater modeling and we are so glad to have her here with us today. And she's gonna help us figure out what do we do with our hands? It's one of those things you just, until you're in the water and you're in front of the camera, all of a sudden hands just feel like this weird extension of your body that you never really considered before. And hands really do make or break a portrait. Um, so Julie knows I'm very particular with my model's hands. She and I worked extensively on this, but I would say the most common thing that we see people doing underwater, especially that really throws off an image is when models throw their hands toward the camera. So when we shoot underwater, we're shooting with a really wide angle lens, especially in smaller spaces like pools. And so there tends to be a distorting effect where the thing that's closest to the camera is going to look disproportionately larger than it will if it's in line with the body. So that can go for feet, that can go for hands, that can go for booties, any part of the body, anything that's closest to the camera is gonna look large. So how do we fix that? Well, some of the ways we counteract that problem is by giving the hands something to do. So mm -hmm. if someone is coming into the water and they're kind of just struggling to figure out what to do, we'll kind of tell them, fruit picking hands. Mm -hmm. So we'll just act like you're picking an apple or something out of a tree. And that way you have that soft, gentle finger movement and it's not this harsh angle where you see, oh, I now have a right angle as a wrist instead of so gentle. Right. Perfect. People tend to show their stress in their face and their hands. So when we get those clients, the first thing we want to do is we want to constantly remind them to keep their hands in line with their body. So hands can go down, but we don't want them to come out toward the camera. Hands can go back, but we don't want them to go far away. So we, we call it midline posing. Underwater, it's really important. With other portraiture, not as much because we're shooting you know, tighter lenses that are gonna have a little bit more forgiving focal lengths. But underwater, it's crucial that we keep the proportions. So, other ways that we can keep their hands midline is if they're just really struggling and they don't know what to do and they're not quite getting Julie's fruit picking hands, uh, <laughs> her analogy there, we'll give the hands something to do. So where are some places we can put hands? So some of the easiest are if it's a pregnant mama, we'll just do a nice little belly pose, hand above the belly and below the belly. Fingers and together. Nice, soft, you don't wanna spread them like some claws. You want gentle and it's simpler because you don't have to worry about anything. And in case of emergency, they can easily just push. Okay, so that's great for pregnant moms. What about for people who are not expecting? So our non-pregnant families and couples will tell them if you have a nice skirt on, mm -hmm. hold your skirt just below you or just next to you. Get your hands in the fabric and that'll help kind of mm -hmm. keep that busy. And if the other hand's still kind of flailing, just have it in their hair. So nice, gentle, mm -hmm. they can just hold it, put it behind their ear, just kind of gently put it somewhere out of view of the camera, so just kind of behind the face. Yep, so if your client is really struggling with the inline posing and those graceful, beautiful ballerina arms are just not gonna happen for them because the hands are where they show their stress, give their hands something to do. Uh, something else that I really love is when we have a partner involved, we can actually have them put their hands on their partner. And not only does that give their hands somewhere to go, but it honestly, it helps them ground themselves and feel more secure because here they are connected to somebody that they trust already. So that can actually be a really big anxiety reducer 
for clients if their spouse or their partner is available to have them in the water with them and pose alongside them because they've already spent years building that trusting relationship whereas they've only known us for you know maybe a few weeks so having them in there having them grounded having them touching each other and connected to each other that is a really great way to help clients who are anxious and who don't know where to put their hands to give them something to do one of my favorites is honestly just taking each other's hands and kind of doing a soft dancing looking pose. You hold your hands up behind each other's heads so the camera's on the other side and these hands kind of float gently in the middle kind of making a nice soft 90 degree angle with your elbows in the front. That way hands aren't blocking faces because we want to see who we're actually shooting and not look like just anyone else. Definitely. So I hope that this was really helpful. I know that hands are a very big stressor for photographers and models. So hopefully this was helpful. If so, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where we will be posting more of these five minute tip Tuesdays. Thanks so much. I'm Kimber and this is Julie with Water Bear Photography. Come splash with us. <laughs> that was cute.